millennials. So for them, insects are a traditional delicatessen. And uh, of course, there will be also some uh, areas where it's more like uh, one of the only protein source, so it's more uh, like for necessity, but it's uh, rare in the sense that uh, we can find some um, markets in Thailand where insects are more expensive than meat. Eating insects isn't a new thing, and it's all over the world. And currently, even while we're still trying to push for the normalization of insects more broadly as ingredients, um, they are a part of a lot of cultures' dishes. So in Cambodia, there's ants, and you'll have things like spiced grasshoppers in Japan. You'll have like the mopani or sago grub in South America, which is such a staple uh, macro and micronutrient source. I've always loved anything with black ants because they have such a unique like lemon pepper zest flavor. Insects have been a part of human diets since the beginning of time, um, but we just have never had a, a good infrastructure. It's mostly been like wild harvested insects um, or insects that are cultivated on a small scale. And we feel that insects are just just one part of the of the answer because basically they, they're very very efficient in converting their feed into food for us. So 12 to 25 times more efficient than cattle say to produce the same amount of protein. They're a natural part of animal diets. It makes sense that they would be part of the food system. We just haven't developed the technology to grow them yet. And so that's what we've been doing is figuring out how to do this at scale for the food system. There's a lot of interest in insects as an ingredient. We're at the very beginning of an exciting phase of growth for the insect industry. When we started a few years ago to investigate Western consumer and the global north, for us, insects uh, is not uh, food. I mean, we associate insects uh, with uh, everything but food. I mean, with dirt, uh, danger, with something uh, disgust, uh, with something that makes us feel uh, sick. Is this one of the main reasons why we don't uh, eat uh, insects? I mean, we do not consider it as food. Looking at it from a chef's point of view, it's all about getting a good idea, but making it taste good. Because at the end of the day, you might have the healthiest, most nutritional, most sustainable product, but unless it tastes nice and people are willing to accept it, it may be a lot more difficult to get that across to people. So immediately I started to use insects as an ingredient. So rather than sprinkling whole insects on a salad, which you can still do, there's nothing wrong with that. But I thought if we're gonna really get it accepted into mainstream food culture, um, the best way is to incorporate it as a percentage of the overall whole product. From our research, what we can say is that the processed insect foods, that's more feasible than consuming uh, insects uh, rather than peanuts uh, for, uh, for as a snack. Kids are amazing and like they are the future of bugs because they're not as inundated with the social norms and the cultural conditioning. Insects are a really good conversation starter, not just about the fact they're healthy or they taste good or they're a completely new innovative type of food, it's that they can really engage our food culture and our diets and that's something we, we really encourage people to do is to think about the amount of meat we're eating but not just the meat, where, where does it come from you know and to think you know we can't eat meat for every meal every day but still enjoy it don't feel guilty but just to help you know reduce that reliance on everyday meat eating <laughs>